A while ago, I decided to only review robot vacuums that I find interesting. I actually have a couple of robots that I bought that I was going to review that just bore me, and uh, I didn't want to do it. So why am I reviewing this ultra-budget robot vacuum by iLife? Because I find it interesting. When iLife first asked me if uh, I wanted to accept this in exchange for review, I was going to say no, and then I looked up the Amazon page, and I was like, wait a minute, a dust bag instead of a dustbin? That's interesting. But it's not just the bag. So this dustbin itself has a cyclonic feature, which basically is a way to channel the dust and air um, to keep the dust out of the primary filter. One of the things that makes vacuum cleaners work poorly is the primary filter keeps getting clogged constantly. So you have to either change it or clean it or whatever every, I mean, it depends on how dirty your house is. For me, it's once a week. For some people, it might be more. This, um, these little cyclonic chambers behind underneath the filter, which have a pre-filter of their own, keep the dust swirling around down there and only allow clean air to pass through that filter, at least in theory. In practice, uh, in a dustbin this small, it works okay. Um, it keeps the filter cleaner longer. But with these dust bags, you don't have to worry about the filter at all. This is the next best thing to a self-emptying docking station. You can just put one of those bags in and leave it alone for uh, like weeks, I guess. For me, it's been two weeks and it's still not full. Of course, my house is cleaned by other robots. Now, this is an ultra-budget robot. Um, so it's, it's pretty well featured. It's got that bag system. It's got this mopping system. Uh, it's very little water, but really, I wouldn't buy this robot if I had a large house um, or even a large apartment. I think this is perfect for uh, small apartments, college dorms, things like that. The robot um, is a navigating robot. It's not a random bump robot. I would never buy a random bump robot. I think they're useless, a uh, waste of time. Um, this doesn't map. I mean, it generates its own internal map, so you could actually see in the app, but it only uses them for uh, the cleaning job that it's assigned to at the moment. It does not store the maps. You can't like map your house with it. Um, it, it has no camera or lasers. It uses gyroscopes for navigation. Uh, and while that's you know, it's pretty good at generating a map. If it moves something um, that hits its bumper, it gets confused and can actually uh, get lost. The result is that it could clean the same room like 20 times if it keeps moving something around and thinking it's discovered a new area. So before you're all like, oh, why are you reviewing this terrible robot that doesn't even map? It's $150. Uh, it's $150 with the promo code that I have uh, in the description that you can use until uh, August 30th or 31st. I think it's the 31st. I'll put the dates in, in the description. Uh, and then it's going to be uh, under $200, probably around $150 with those Amazon coupons that are always around that you apply to the price. So this is an ultra budget robot. If you don't want to spend the uh, $230 or, or just over $200 of the 360S5, which I think is the best uh, full featured budget robot there is, and if you don't want to spend more than $150, this is a great alternative if you have a small apartment. So let's subject this thing to my usual cleaning tests. I, it doesn't have any sort of no-go zones or any map features, so I had to confine it using chairs and other obstacles. Okay, so you can see the, the spinning brushes um, kick uh, the dirt around pretty badly, and here it escapes. I had to put another chair in there. And I mentioned earlier that it could get confused if it moves things around. Well, it's going to actually miss an entire section of this room because moving past that lamp uh, caused the robot to become confused. So the first thing you need to know about this robot, besides the fact that it's really, really cheap and has an available dust bag instead of dustbin, is that it has no spinning brush. So this is a hard floor only robot. I'm not even going to test this thing on carpets because there's really no point. Uh, I did it with the narwhal because I just wanted it to be complete and it was a total waste of time. The narwhal is similar. It doesn't have a spinning brush, just the two side brushes and a vacuum port. Unfortunately, there's no way to slow down these brushes, so um, maybe iLife will add that in a future release or just uh, change the default speed. So as far as cleaning performance, here it did uh, one pass, and you can see it missed that spot in the middle. So I'm sending it out for two passes. Uh, I normally usually do two passes, but here I've put the barrier in a better place, so it's not going to get confused, and it's going to cover the entire area. Except that it's only going to cover the area it missed one time, so at the end of the test, I'll take um, the remote control and manually move it there. But as far as cleaning performance, uh, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's you know below average for a normal lidar robot with a spinning brush, but it gets the job done. And again, one hundred fifty dollars. You really can't beat that if this thing you know matches your circumstances. Now, who should buy this? People in a small apartment, people uh, college students, for example, in a dorm, 
people who just needed to clean a small area. For example, if you decide you want a robot vacuum for every room of your house, uh, this would be a, a good thing to have. So here I am using the remote control to send it to that one spot. So here are the results. Again, not bad. I, there, I have tested robots that have done worse than this. It did scatter some of the debris around, but then some robots scatter debris around with their exhaust vent. This one doesn't. This has just aggressively spinning brushes. So pretty good. Not bad. Again, I'm not doing a carpet test. There's no spinning brush. So here it is. Uh, you get to see the navigation patterns. I'll let this thing go um, for a while. Now, this is an example of it getting confused. Uh, there's a lamp uh, on that little hallway to the left, and it kept moving that lamp around. And because that lamp hit the bumper and then moved, it confused it. So it kept kind of trying to discover new areas. So it just kept cleaning this hallway forever. Now, it did cover everything, um, but it kept covering it again and again and again. I had to stop it manually. I did the test without any lamps or without anything in the hallway for it to move around except those laundry baskets. That's how you know my daughter is home from college. Her room is neat, but everything else is covered with her stuff. Uh, anyway, I did the test without that stuff in there, and um, it, it did fine. It, it did a couple of passes and then stopped on its own. Um, but if you have stuff that moves around, I mean, the downside is it'll just keep cleaning, um, and that's not, not a terrible thing. It'll return to uh, the docking station, recharge, and maybe keep going until you stop it. You'll have a very clean apartment. Um, the, the app is pretty rudimentary. Um, there's no, the only features really are scheduling, and um, you can use a slider to control the suction, which I don't really know why you'd want to do that. The, the remote uh, pre-programmed settings that you cycle through are just fine. Um, so really, the only beneficial feature of the app is the scheduling. And this thing can find its docking station unless, of course, it um, gets confused by movable objects. But it'll search for it, and if it's a small room, it'll find it. Um, it'll go back to it. It has a very good uh, infrared sensor in the front, uh, better, for example, than the uh, iRobot Roomba i7. So it's pretty good at detecting objects, and it's pretty decent at finding its docking station. So what is it about this robot that got me interested? It really, it's the bag. Uh, well, first I was kind of curious about um, robots without spinning brushes, but then I got the narwhal to test, so that wasn't it. But that bag is a game changer. Think of the bag in an auto empty station. It's not very big, but it can last you a month or more. Well, what iLife did is they took that concept and they put it into the robot itself. The downside of having it in the robot is as the bag gets full, the suction power will decrease, but then again, uh, a robot doesn't need all that much suction power. I really like iLife because they constantly innovate. I hope they take this bag and put it in a much more featured, more expensive robot. So, should you buy this robot? If you don't want to spend more than 150 bucks, again, don't forget my promo code, um, then, and if you have a small room or apartment and, or you just want this for a limited space, absolutely. It's a great robot, and that bag makes it so that you don't have to change the, clean the dustbin uh, very often at all. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Mike, and this is Mr. Rumbato.